Well, I'm here with Lee Powell at Garland Nursery, and we have a, a little treat for you today on conifers because, you know, not all conifers have to be as big as giant redwoods. No, in fact, we've got a bunch of uh, great smaller conifers for your yard. Well, now, when you say smaller, I get that with these, but what, what's going on with this all one? All right, <laughs> so this isn't quite as small as these, but it will stay under redwood size. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's called a blue surprise, uh, chemiciparis. It'll probably get about eight feet tall. And this is not a new plant, but it's one that used to have some root problems in wet soils. Yes. This, this particular plant is now being grafted onto a um, rootstock that is uh, resistant to root rot. Nice. So nice. it'll be a, one that's going to be much more reliable in your yard. Uh, you know, and that's so good because it, it truly, the blue is exquisite on it. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely conifer. So moving forward, I think this is one of the best textures I've seen in a while in a conifer. Yeah, this is uh, Cryptomeria Little Diamond, and it's just a wonderful little rounded uh, shrub that'll get probably three to four feet high and wide. Um, fantastic uh, texture, as you said, it's beautiful. And, and very nice form to it as well. And conifers really are coming. We're getting so many nurseries with great colors in conifers now. This gold is, is really pretty. Yeah, and as, as all of our wonderful perennials quit blooming here yes. and, and die down for the winter, having a few conifers, especially something like this vintage gold cypress in your yard, is going to pop out, give you, brighten up your, your uh, rainy winter days, which hopefully will wait a little longer to come. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> definitely will add to your yard. Well, and this one is stunning too. It's almost like a whip cord. So this is the one that I don't believe we have a common name for, at least I don't know of it, but what it's called is microcacris. Excuse me? <laughs> yes, microcacris. It's an interesting plant, and what it's great for is planting maybe behind a wall. It'll trail down probably nice. two to three feet and look this nice rich green all winter long. It really is. It's a stunning little structure. And how about, this looks like me getting gray. <laughs> more, more, more blue color. This is, you know, you've seen uh, Boulevard Cypress, which uh -huh. have a similar type of look. This is a, this is a cypress called True Blue. It's beautiful. And what's nice, the color's great. It's got little, you know, the, the ends of the uh, needles are twisted a little bit, and it's mm -hmm. gonna stay a lot smaller. Um, probably, again, in the maybe four foot, five foot uh, size range. And I'm assuming, are all of these uh, full sun conifers? These are all full sun. Um, the, the gold conifers, you know, quite often they look a little nicer if they get a little break from the hot sun in the afternoon. Yeah, that hot afternoon sun can yeah. ruin them. Uh, this is soft looking. And this is heather bun cedar, white cedar, and this is another one that has a rounded form. What makes this unique is in the winter when it gets cold, um, the color will turn to sort of a plum color, a purplish plum color, really a neat texture, a neat color in the garden. And you can almost see that in the stems where you would do that. You can see that plum yeah. color coming. The whole, the whole bush will turn more of a more of a plum color, which is Lovely. very nice. And last but not least, last but not least, the Camisiparus red star. This is another one that turns that burgundy color. And what I like about this is it holds a very nice tight mm -hmm. form to about four feet tall, two feet wide. If you're looking for kind of a statement uh, plant, a little asterisk in the landscape, yeah. this is a great one for it. A wonderful selection, Lee. Always you, you bring delightful plants for us here. Uh, you know, if you have more inf uh, want more information about conifers, certainly you can go out to Garland. They have a great selection. Talk with their great staff. And uh, I'm sure we'll be back and chat about more hey, plants soon. Thank you very Thanks, much, Lee. Lee.